If I was learning how to code in 2022 and say I was a complete beginner with no previous experience whatsoever in programming, how would I start? In this video, we're going to be talking about the best way to learn how to code in 2022. And in my opinion, the most efficient way as possible, because as you know, time is money. I started to learn how to code about 10 years ago, and I think I could have made some better decisions on how to learn smarter and faster. Personally, I learn best by example. First, I would start with Google and YouTube, the holy grail of learning how to do anything in life and would search easy beginner coding examples. Specifically, I would search on Google and YouTube how to code for beginners and find a playlist that has about 10 or 20 videos where I can learn quite a bit in a short amount of time. The programming languages that I think will be popular and continue in 2022 will be Python, C Sharp and JavaScript. I think these three languages are very popular. They have a wide developer support and many, many packages to help you code solutions very quickly. I would probably start with Python just because the flexibility and the popularity worldwide, it's probably one of the most popular languages right now and probably a great place to start. Once you learn one language, the rest are infinitely easier. All you have to do is get started. Before watching the playlist or course, I would get my computer set up uh, in a way that will allow me to start coding immediately and you know set up my IDE and stuff like that. Probably the, the playlist or course will have that information as well. So, but I wanna make sure that you know I have it set up and I'm ready to go. From there, I would, I would follow the playlist and you know do each example that they provide. And after my session, or maybe after I'm kind of too tired uh, to continue the, the, the playlist or the course, I will review my code, reread it, and try to deeply understand how it works and why it works. And I know it wouldn't take me the first day or week to do that, but I think writing your code initially with the instructor and then rereading it after um, and you know just talking to yourself out loud, how does this work, why does this work, and really drilling that down will help me learn faster. Then after a couple days of doing examples, watching more courses and playlists on YouTube, I would start niching down into more specific topics. Topics that are gonna do, that I think are gonna do well in the future, such as Web3, Metaverse, uh, applications and games, uh, blockchain, um, quantitative investing, algo trading, that sort of stuff. I would start niching down on playlists, on tutorials, on courses, on those topics, and picking one that I find meaningful and interesting and that I think that I can provide value in the future and that will continue to grow as a career in the future as well. I would rinse and repeat, follow the examples, do the examples, and then after you know the session or after I'm kind of tired and don't really want to learn anymore, I would reread my code, try and understand what's going on, try to explain to myself what's going on, and I know that could take weeks or months to do that, but you know, really taking the time to do that, just like I did with the beginner coding, I would, you know, reread my code once again, reread my code. How does it work? Why does it work? And if I still don't understand, I will look at external resources, any friends that I can reach out to, or maybe the instructor um, themselves to, to, you know, clarify the, um, you know, the, the code that was written, the logic, that sort of stuff. The next major step after I've sort of learned my beginner coding foundations, I've kind of, you know, dived into a specific topic, you know, say it's been, you know, a month or two and, you know, I'm somewhat confident what I'm doing. Obviously I'm still, I, at this point I would still be, you know, a little nervous and, and anxious and, and still don't understand a couple things, but I know the foundations. I would start immediately building a portfolio with samples of work. So for example, say you wanted to get into Web3, I would create my own simple NFT and maybe build a website that showcases that just so I have something to show if I want to say apply for jobs or um, to show to you know other employers and stuff like that. This whole process of building these sample product projects are to you know apply my skills and by applying you also learn as well because generally when you're applying your skills, you're doing something new, right? Um, you know, generally when I'm trying something new, I'm scared, I'm anxious, that sort of stuff, and actually doing it and completing it solves that that problem. So I think applying your what you learned from you know those beginner YouTube videos and then the niche down topic will help you learn even more, and then also increase uh, your prospects and and people that are interested if they can see uh, these examples and these projects. You know, you have a, a better chance of being hired. Uh, versus someone that just went to school or took a, a coding boot camp, but they have nothing to show on their portfolio. Now, when I go back to college, for me personally, it was a great experience. I met a lot of cool people. I met a lot of great friends. Uh, I learned a lot. Um, I actually got my first job through college. 
you know, I'm not saying that college will guarantee you a job, but personally, my college had like a website, a web portal on, on applications and interviews and stuff like that. And I applied through there and I got my first job through college. Um, so personally, I would go back. Obviously, you don't need to go to the most expensive college. You can do, you know, a community college, a two or three year uh, program and, and save quite a bit of money and still learn the most that you can learn. Um, but that was my experience and you know, I had a great experience. I just wouldn't go to a very expensive one um, I would go to like, you know a two or three years So it's cheaper for you and you're not in a mass amount of debt and you're still learning uh, The most you need to learn, right? So definitely um, something I would recommend I don't really have experience with these coding boot camps or anything like that um, So I can't really say anything about them. But uh, as far as college, I had a great experience the rest of learning how to code is applying it through a career. You know, when you're when you're coding, you really have to dig deep down and and think about what problems you can solve because, you know, being able to code is great, but you actually need to apply it and solve a problem in a business or someone else's life. That's, you know, essentially how you gain purpose and obviously money, right? You need to be able to solve something. So, as you're building your projects for your portfolio that are meaningful for you, they also need to have a future. If you're building your own NFT and you're able to showcase that, that's going to show a lot of employers that you know, yes, how to do that, but also, you know, is Web3 and NFTs going to continue on into the future? And just that technology alone, is that going to continue on to the future and be useful? Probably. I mean, if, if we're all honest with ourselves, probably, right? Building simple blogs and simple websites, you know, they're not really solving a problem right now. Uh, you can do that very easily. So you need to really think of, um, you know, these advanced topics that you can niche down into because that's going to cement your career, give you, you know, a, a wide variety of career aspects and, and potential businesses that you want to start as well. But, you know, that type of thinking of, you know, hey, is this going to be useful in the future? Is this going to solve someone's problem? Probably. It's probably a good bet. You should probably learn how to do that. So that sort of stuff, um, you know, you need to think about as well, not just the coding mindset, the technical mindset, but you need to be solving problems and, and helping, you know, other companies solve those problems. And if you can do that, if you can showcase that through your portfolio, um, people will hire you. So now you've followed some tutorials and some examples on how to code for beginners, you know, maybe you learned Python, you you did, you know, 20 to 30 videos, you learn the basics about, you know, hello world, um, arithmetic, math, arrays, that sort of stuff. Then you took some time to dive into um, more courses and more playlists on YouTube um, on a niche topic, say web three metaverse, um, quantitative trading, algo trading, and you did some examples of that, you built some cool stuff. And then you built some sample projects, maybe you built your own NFT, maybe you built your own uh, multiple trading bots that you know invest in different assets and you're able to showcase that um, maybe you went to college maybe you didn't you know um, that's sort of up to you but basically the next step is going to be you know applying for jobs you know sending your resume out building you know using that portfolio to add it to your resume um, going on linkedin going on indeed uh, emailing uh, people at a company emailing co-founders ceos or someone that just works at a company say you know are you hiring going to businesses, knocking on their doors, showing up and saying, hey, you know, are you guys hiring uh, developers or junior developers? All those things will, you know, eventually, obviously, you know, get you a job, but that's going to teach you how to code as well. I learned the most when I worked at a job. That's simply that. You will learn the most when you apply your skills and you're able to obviously receive compensation for your skills because it, it motivates you a little bit more. But when you're able to apply it and you're in an actual business environment, you will learn the most. You'll learn, you know, a decent amount watching YouTube videos and and learning from courses and reading books and that sort of stuff. But when you apply it, you will learn the most, the fastest and the most efficient way possible. And that's how I would learn to code in 2022. Let me know in the comments below if this makes sense to you. If this is how you would learn, do you learn better with books? Do you learn better by buying courses on Udemy? Do you learn better by going to boot camps or going to college? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And then once again, this is all from my experience and my opinion. You may learn better differently. Someone else may learn better differently. So definitely take these and, and you know add them to your your brain, I guess. But you know it may not work best for you, and you may find another method that works better for you. But you know, this is how I learned. And, and if I could go back in time and restart in 2022, this is how I would do it today. So anyways, I hope you found value in this video and we'll see you soon. Have a good one, guys. Bye.